Welcome to another episode of JB Saltwater Fish Tank and Friends. I figured I haven't done a uh, episode on the 90 gallon in a while. Um, wanted to show you guys what it looks like now. Give you a little preview of uh, what's been going on. And also just talk about some stuff in general. Um, the tank has been growing overall. All my Montes have in, in, uh, grown uh, tremendously. Uh, as you can see, I have like a variety of corals on the uh, in the tank. I've actually not really been taking care of this tank as much as I am supposed to. I kind of went with that hands-off approach. Um, and I was basically letting it run itself. The one thing I was doing is... Uh, water changes and that was about it I haven't really got around to like uh, actually cleaning the floor like uh, usually what I'll do is uh, I'll remove the corals clean the floor so that way I can get um, all of the detritus off the floor because I didn't have any snails in here for the longest I just added like maybe 10 or 15 snails and obviously I need snails and hermit crabs in here uh, and I might add some um, uh, probably one emerald crab or something like that uh, to try to take care of some of this algae that I have going on here um, I never used to have algae before but I had went a phase where I was trying to use uh, natural seawater and I guess my tank my my, my tank uh, promotes uh, algae growth due to the fact that the natural seawater in the LED lighting we're making, uh, I don't know, it makes the algae grow like crazy. Just like the Kato in the bottom of the tank. It's like the, the darndest thing. Like when you think you're trying to help yourself out, you actually take yourself a couple steps back. But um, uh, there's a couple changes in the uh, in the fish portion of the tank. Um, a lot of my antheus is uh, succumbed for some odd reason, just out of the blue. Um, I, I was feeding them uh, two or three times a day like I normally do, but uh, I, I'm not sure what really happened, but I started losing them like one at a time. So I uh, had to put in some replacement fish. I actually threw in some uh, tangs in here to see if they would take care of this algae problem, but they're not doing as much as I thought they would do. I tried a yellow tang convict, um, and I have two tangs in here that I'm holding basically for my big tank which is that unicorn that you see keeps swimming back and forth and the flamingi that's right in the middle also on top of him uh, they get along pretty well thought I had a blonde nasal in here uh, I haven't seen him in a while so not sure what happened to him or but um, I can go ahead and uh, move the camera and show you guys what my corals look like uh, oops sorry so these, uh, this is my little donut garden right here uh, that I'm starting to collect, trying to find some nice colors. Um, got a couple pieces back there, I think some polyps uh, from my friend's grandmother's tank and something else. Uh, I got a Cinerina and a well so they're both closed right now like because uh, I just cleaned up the tank. And then I got some uh, chalices here. Uh, this is the initial portion of the uh, clam collection here. I got a purple, a blue, and a uh, teardrop, brown teardrop. So uh, then I have my maize coral, some recordias. Um, also started collecting um, acans, as you can see right there. Uh, big chunk of war coral. I had one about five times the size of this. I actually cut it into a couple pieces. So. Um, then I have my uh, uh, I have my uh, got the name of these uh, I'll get back to it but um but I got a couple other pieces here like this Monty right here this is a purple rim just grew insanely I have the I mean it's just in love with the LEDs or whatever um, I have no idea why but it just like sprouted like out of the blue I still have my green mushrooms here some um, some polyps right here in the middle uh, these two are from my original 230 tank 
Um, I, I kept the smallest ones I could find and look at the size of them now. So, and then there's like a Monty that's growing around the rock that they're on. Um, I got my elephant skin um, Monty right here. I got another green Monty. I had a, uh, somebody gave me a frag of it and I, I put it here and it just exploded in growth also. And then I got a couple uh, frags up here. And then this is my Zoa collection back there. Um, then you can see the mushrooms. Uh, these these two clownfish just go nuts on these mushrooms. I mean, they're always just hanging out right there. I mean, um, these used to be. I used to have two pairs, two black ones and um, two regular ones. And for some odd reason, uh, one and one died off, and then these two just said, "Hey, uh, you know, since we're widows, we'll start hanging out." So that's what they're doing now. Um, this is a Tyree leather. What else? Uh, I don't know what kind of Monty this is, but it has like purple polyps. Uh, don't know if that helps or not. But um, then I have my collection back there. That has grown also. Um, yeah, they're just going nuts growing into each other. So hopefully I can hurry up and get this in the big tank and see if they'll just take off and use this as a centerpiece or something. I still have, they used to, um, for some reason, these guys used to occupy this flower pot right here. And just one day they just said, oh, you know what, screw this, we're going somewhere else. And then they ended up over here. So, don't know why that happened, but whatever. But um, I got cinnamon polyps in the back. I got orgasms and a couple of other polyps. So, I mean, as you guys can see, the tank is still here. Still running. Still got the refugium on this one. Um, one change that I did do to the tank is that I, um, uh, I cut the bag of Kemi Pure. I cut two bags of Kimmy Pure. I took them out of the bag and I put them in a 550 reactor. And I started running that and I noticed that my tank stays a lot clearer. So um, that's one major change that I did. Um, so I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm actually, the next time I take out the Kimmy Pure, I'm going to put Kimmy Pure Elite and see if it makes a big difference. Um, so that'll be the test that I'm doing for now until I decide to move over to the larger tank. Now, I know you guys are wondering, uh, where's part three of the Spartan, man? Because we're waiting, man. You, like, ran off, and yeah, we didn't get to see what happened. So, um, Spartan's here. Not going to say anything to ruin what happened. But uh, you guys continue to watch and uh, see my progress, and you'll be able to get that video out pretty soon. Um, there's a couple other videos that I've been holding back because I actually want to make them a lot nicer, like the, how to set up the uh, calcium reactor. Um, there's a couple items that I specifically want to talk about, and I want to see how to split that up and make it uh, work better. Um, also, um, how to program the Neptune Apex with uh, with the uh, Cree LED lightings, uh, the the DIY version, and make it do thunderstorms. A lot of people have been asking about that. Um, that video is out. Well, it's not out yet. It's under development. I actually have everything working perfectly. Um, it's just I'm trying to figure out um, like how, how to present it and to make you guys uh, understand it and actually talk clear and make sure that it's all precise and accurate. So that way um, I don't get a thousand questions on it. So this is my tank this is the 90 and hope you guys like the little show hope you guys like the color and I'll see you on the next one peace